I'm a, the reason I'm here, I think Steve invited me, is I am a, a law professor. I teach international law, and I'm also son of Holocaust survivors. But like Dr. Pearl, I teach on a campus. And one of the things that I, I do want to bring is a dose of reality, that unfortunately it is cool today, the younger generation, to be pro-Palestinian and to be anti-Israel. And it's a phenomenon, at least when I went to UCLA, was not there. And I have to tell you, Dr. Pearl, at Chapman University, where I am, um, it is also not there. So when I do confront people and I confront students, what I tell them is I just begin with a simple phrase. I say, I am a Zionist and I'm a Palestinian nationalist. And I ask them, what do you see the vision look like? If you had a map, how would you go ahead and, and divide that map? And if they give me a map where there are no two states, I end the conversation with them. I, I am very proud to be here this evening and um, got started with Steve asking me to be here, but the, uh, let the truth be known, I've been spending many, many years trying to find myself in a synagogue where I can look into the eyes of my daughter, Fredel. She's here this evening. Fredel. And that's, and that's why I'm here. The, um, and and very, very well said, I do have a, 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 um, a thought project to add very briefly, and I, I appreciate all the comments. Um, as you know, the fifth book of the Torah ends with the Jewish people standing outside of the land of Israel, looking in. They haven't quite made it. And if you pause and think about it, the, the entire Torah becomes a midrash. It's a midrash of the Jewish people, which winds up with the Jewish people outside the land of Israel and still have, having something left to do. And it's a story of migration. And we can look back upon, uh, we can start with the Balfour Declaration the 1947 resolution, the State of Israel being declared in 1948, and the State of Israel now turning 70 years of age, the third house, as it were, the third by it. And we get back to the biblical madrash, right? And I think this was very much the viewpoint of the founding fathers, particularly Menachem Begin, that this, this is in some sense the next chapter in the completion of the Torah. The Jews, and we're just about to the end of my talk. The Jews found themselves in Europe. A thousand years, 1500 years, winding up in industrial age Europe with no means of systematic defense. Now facing the final pogrom as it were, the mechanized army of Nazi Germany, a war against the Jews, to quote Lucy Davidovich. And if we look at the state of Israel today, the first thing I will observe is that the Jewish people around the world live under the, protect, under the protection of the IDF, the Israeli Defense Forces. And the thought project for those here today, and Think about it, take five years, 10 years, 15 years, let's think about this a while. Are we the, the privileged generation that can now participate in yet writing, as it were, another chapter to continue the Midrash, which when last visited, the Jewish people were sent, standing outside of the land of Israel, waiting to re-enter. We have that privilege and that experience in our own generation. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Obviously, this subject matter it, it needs even more time, but I'm very glad that we could commemorate 70 year anniversary with all four of you and get a little taste of it. Before we go to the musical part of the program, a new film was shown during the Israel Film Festival, Azimut, which was written and directed by Mike Burston, and we can have a, just a small cut of that, please.
Azimut, the film trailer. Mike? <laughs>